Hey guys, this is Jerry. Welcome to yet another video. So finally the wait is over. Samsung's brand new smartphone Galaxy Note 20 and Note 20 Ultra after numerous leaks and rumors have gone official. So we got a lot to talk about. So if you're a Samsung Note fan, there is definitely something to be excited about. The design looks absolutely stunning, completely bezel-less display, especially the Ultra variant paired with metal finish and punch hole selfie cam look absolutely classy. And at the back of the phone you have three sensors that sit on the bump. Yep, notice this camera bump has become a standard feature on almost any smartphones and it seems like companies are in love with them that helps push the cam capability further and we gotta embrace it. When it comes to design, and internals aside from both devices being massive in size both Note 20 and 20 Ultra look and feel different Note 20 has rounded corners while Note 20 Ultra has cut off stylish premium look with edgy display making the device stand out from the two you might be wondering what makes the Note 20 different from Note 20 Ultra apart from the design well not only really lacks important features like a high refresh rate screen, micro SD storage expansion, and periscope zoom lens. And the ultra features typical gloss back panel with a soft matte finish, while the Note 20 is dressed in polycarbonate, which resembles the look and soft touch of the matte gloss on the ultra variant. However, the new Note 20 and Note 20 Ultra offer more functionality, better camera and more room than its previous models and powerful internals under the hood. Both models are powered by Snapdragon 865 Plus processor paired with 8 and 12 GB of RAM respectively. However, the global version will be coming with Exynos 990. Both the Galaxy Note 20 and Note 20 Ultra will support 5G connectivity. That's a great news. Yep, 5G is the new 4G. But depending on the market and locations, you may get access to 4G only models. When it comes to storage options, Note 20 is stuck with 128 and 256 gigabytes of built-in storage and no expansion slots. While the Ultra will be offered in 128 to 512 gigabytes of storage with a micro SD card slot for expansion. If you're going for Note 20 Ultra, you have lots of storage space to capture lots of videos. And you might be wondering what's gonna protect this expensive device, especially when you throw lots of money on some devices like this. You will definitely think about the build quality and the protective measures the company has taken while designing these devices, right? So. For protection, the smartphones are coming with IP68 water resistance. So don't worry about dropping your phone uh, in waters or swimming pool or and corning gorilla glass vectors which is better at resistance and scratches and can survive drops from 2 meters. So just drop it, don't worry about getting your device patched or break. So, as the previous leak suggested, the new Note 20 Ultra sports 6.9 inch Infinity or Dynamic AMOLED 120Hz display with 1440p resolution. Just think about it. Play games, play videos, it should be buttery smooth. While the standard version will come with 6.7 inch 1080p Super AMOLED Plus display and should offer you the best display experience on any smartphone out there. Yeah, remember, no high refresh rate screen on Note 20 though and comes with the usual 60Hz refresh rate. I think even 60Hz refresh rate is really great for a phone, but if you are an avid gamer and want to play some fast-paced games with high refresh rate and high frame rate, you may want a screen with high refresh rate. So in that case, you may want to go for 2D Ultra if you are a Nord fan. That's gonna give you some awesome experience while playing games or doing some other stuff, whatever you do, you wanna do with a 120 hertz refresh rate screen. Okay, there have been numerous leaks before. So, just like the promo video made for AT&T Rebuild, the new Nord 20 is coming with stylus integration for Word and PowerPoint. So that's a great news for business persons who want to tinker on PowerPoint and Word and want to 
sync their Word document with a PZM, so it's going to be really helpful. And the device also supports 8K video capabilities and comes with a 64 megapixel camera on the standard Note 20, 108 megapixel main one on the Ultra variant, and 30x pay zoom on Note 20, while Note 20 Ultra offers 50x zoom. The Ultra also features a 12MB ultra wide camera and a 12MB telephoto camera, while the Note 20 features a 12 megapixel main camera and a 12 megapixel ultra wide apart from the 64 megapixel telephoto camera both camera modules are powered by optical image stabilization which improves video recording stability and enhances low light shots where you need lower shutter speed so now you might be wondering how good the camera is going to be right when it comes to smartphone most people actually think about the quality of the photos or videos the camera produces so let's get into it it seems samsung has perfected the camera on not 20 series and won't have autofocusing issues that s20 ultra has you can record videos at 120 frames per second at 1080p resolution it also lets you capture 21 to 9 videos at both 8k and other standard resolution so if you are an avid videographer you want to capture your cities in high resolution maybe this is the phone you should be going for However, Samsung has cut down the zooming capability of Note 20 Ultra. Considering S20 Ultra's 100x zoom, Note 20 Ultra only features 50x, which is definitely a step up from previous Note 20 series. Maybe that's intentional, and you should go for S20 Ultra if you are an avid smartphone photographer and want to take advantage of S20 Ultra's 100x zooming capability. Despite the fact that photos taken at 100x zoom are that impressive. Hopefully 50x zoom is impressive enough for the device and won't be delivering a pile of pixels at 50x per zoom. On the selfie side, both features the very same 10 megapixel snapper with dual pixel autofocus. And as previous leaks revealed, Samsung is also teaming up with Microsoft. That's a great news for gamers. Turning Galaxy Note 20 into more productive and entertainment hub. The new Galaxy Note 20 is coming with massive integration of Microsoft services and will let you stream over 100 Xbox titles via xCloud. All you need is a controller to play these games and thanks to the cloud you are good to go and experience a seamless gameplay. There will be over 100 Xbox titles available in the mid-September with the Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. And there is a surprise, if you pre-order either Note 20, you can pick one of two perks, Galaxy Watch Plus or the Gaming Bundle. The Gaming Bundle features a wireless charger plus a wireless game controller, that's absolutely great. I think if you're a gamer, you're going for that. The bundle also offers three months of Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. So no S Pen, no Note, right? So coming to S Pen functionalities, the Notes application has got lots of improvements and now lets you import PDFs and record audios while taking notes. With 9 milliseconds latency, new S Pen styles input happens instantaneously and it almost matches the Apple Pencil responsiveness. Samsung says that at this point, the experience is very much like writing on paper. Wow, that's gonna be amazing. Moreover, Note 20 Ultra is coming with UWB chip built into the phone so you can just point your phone at other devices with the UWB chips and share files. With the UWB chips, you could eventually unlock your calls. Apple was the first to introduce this chip on their phone so Samsung couldn't resist. Wondering what's gonna electrify these massive devices? Well, there is no big difference between the standard and the Ultra variant. Both Note 20 and Ultra will have 4300 and 4500 mAh batteries respectively. And now time to choose the color. Well, the standard Note 20 will be available in Mystic Green, Mystic Grey and Mystic Bronze, while the 20 Ultra will be offered in Mystic Bronze, Mystic Black and Mystic White. Tell me what color you are going for in the comment. So let's get into the pricing and availability. The Galaxy Note 20 and Note 20 Ultra will be released on the 21st of August in the US. The Galaxy Note 20 starts at $999 while the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra will be offered at $1,299. So that's pretty much about the new Samsung flagships. Let us know what you think about the new Note series and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. Peace out.